It's not possible to actually single out one set of qualifications that are required to deliver and assess the Foundation Skills Training Package. Because uh, Foundation Skills take in a wide range of um, skills, like they cover the language literacy and numeracy, but they also cover the range of employability skills. And we don't actually have a notion of what is a Foundation Skills Practitioner. It can be, some people can have parts of that um, in their expertise, but other parts may be missing. So we, what we do know is that all people who are delivering and assessing the Foundation Skills training package would need some knowledge of the ACSF. They would also need some understanding of how Foundation Skills um, are embedded within vocational training. And they would also need to um, have recognised expertise in the delivery and assessment of foundation skills. The other thing that all practitioners delivering it need is an ability to build partnerships and collaborate with other trainers. That's a key um, requirement of the foundation skills training package. If you think about delivering the qualifications, now the qualifications have a very strong core in the foundation skills, mostly in language literacy and numeracy. So you would expect that in the delivery of the qualifications then someone that is, has recognised foundation skills expertise, probably language literacy and numeracy practitioner, would take the lead in the delivery of the qualifications. But you, if, because those qualifications have training package electives, then you would need to be working with the vocational teacher as well. And they might take the lead in the delivery of some of the electives in the qualification, but they would also provide a sort of supporting role for the practitioner delivering the foundation skills because those foundation skills need to be contextualised to a work context or a range of work contexts, and that's where the vocational practitioner has the knowledge and expertise. So you'd be drawing on the knowledge of both the practitioners to deliver and assess any of the qualifications in the Foundation Skills Training Package. If the Foundation Skills Training Package is being delivered as part of a vocational training package where units are being used to support the Foundation Skills development in the vocational training, then it's likely that the vocational trainer would take the lead role because it's a, it's a a technical or an industry training package that we're talking about. And the foundation skills practitioner would provide more of a supporting role. But it would depend on how they sort of manage their collaboration because sometimes the foundation skills practitioner might take a lead role. For example, in um, doing some pre-training assessment, they might take the lead there. Um, but in other parts they might support the vocational trainer by doing some um, looking at resources or doing some plain English work with them or something like that. So it's always about a partnership and it's always about a collaboration where the two people work out the best way to approach what they're having to do. It's quite difficult to specify qualifications for LLN practitioners because there's such a variety of experience and expertise and um, qualifications that people have that are already working in the field. So people may have started as a volunteer and then gone on and done some um, qualifications at university or ongoing professional development. We can't say this is the one qualification that every LLN practitioner needs to have. <laughs>